Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Today, as we gather to celebrate the solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord, we are called to contemplate the mystery of God's intervention in human history. The readings for April 8, 2024, invite us to ponder the significance of obedience and submission to God's will. In the first reading from Isaiah 7 10 14, 8 10, we hear the prophecy of Emmanuel, God is with us. This promise is a testament to God's unwavering commitment to his people. It reminds us that, even when we face uncertainty, God's presence is a constant source of comfort and guidance. The responsorial psalm, Psalms 40 verses 7 to 11, echoes this sentiment of obedience. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. These words are a powerful declaration of our desire to align our lives with God's plan, to serve him wholeheartedly, and to proclaim his justice and faithfulness to the world. The second reading from Hebrews 10:4-10 emphasizes the insufficiency of sacrifices and offerings in comparison to the ultimate sacrifice of Jesus Christ. It is through his offering that we are sanctified, and it is his example that we are called to follow. The Gospel of Luke 1:26-38 presents us with the Annunciation, where the angel Gabriel announces to Mary that she will conceive and bear a son, Jesus. Mary's response, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word, is the epitome of trust and surrender to God's will. Let us take inspiration from Mary's example and strive to be open to God's calling in our lives. May we have the courage to say yes to God, to embrace His will, and to trust in His plan for us. May God bless you all. Welcome to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, we're all about sharing engaging content that you won't want to miss. So, if you enjoy our videos, don't forget to like, share, and comment below to support us. Your interaction not only helps our channel grow but also tells us what content you love to see. Thanks for stopping by, and we hope you subscribe and join our community. God bless you always.